passionate about your business. You should be excited to pursue your goals and your dreams. And this is part of your goals and dreams. Your goal and dream isn't just to make money. Okay, I want to make $100,000 a year. Yeah, me too. Okay, why? What do you think you will gain? What are you hoping, expecting to gain with that goal? First of all, do you even have goals? Do you even know why or what you're doing and why? Why are you doing it? Why do you own a business instead of working a nine to five? I am all ears. I would love all of your DMs, all of your comments, all of your emails. Send them all. Kristen at mommyincome.com. Okay? Why? Why did you do this? Because you want more money? Don't just, don't say, I want to make more money. Why do you want to make more money? What do you feel like that money is going to buy you? What is it going to give you? What is the feeling that you want from your business? Because guess what? No one's forcing you to run a business. If you don't like it, change it. If you don't like it, figure out why and change it. And this takes this examination that most people don't want to spend the time to do. But you can do it in 15 minutes or less if you're just flat out honest with yourself. Well, why am I here? Well, I just, I hated my nine to five and I needed something else that I could make more money at. Because I hated my boss. I hated driving. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make more. I only made 15 bucks an hour and I figured I could do better online. Okay. Let's get really clear though about certain expectations about running a business. This is going to help clear the aisles for you so that you can at least think through some of this while you're evaluating and examining whether or not you should quit or give up or keep going or change or, or, or throw in the towel, right? You will never enjoy every task in your business. There are just things that are going to be required of you and or team members that you just don't enjoy. Necessary evils is what we call them. Y'all, I do not ever enjoy talking to Seller Central. Zero percent of the time. But that's required of me in my business to troubleshoot and to get things done and to get things going and to get them to change stupid things that they've done in their business. Yes, I need to be on the phone with them or opening support tickets on a regular basis. That is one of my main jobs in my business is to make sure that all these, the, the, I'm plugging holes in the bucket is what I call it. Every time I have to reach out to Seller Central, it usually has to do with my bottom line and how they've taken from that and how I can make it more clear. So if they lose my inventory, I'm chasing down them with invoices. If they are miscalculated something and gave more of a refund than they needed to or a refund is, is I deal with refunds on a regular basis of um, customers sending products that are not mine back to me and trying to cheat the system. So that does cost me and my bottom line. So that's worth, that's a money making task to do. But I 0% enjoy talking to Seller Central, like ever. But it's part of the job, which I accept. I have clear expectations. Now, I don't jump out of bed on Monday mornings and, and desire to um, get on the phone with Seller Central, but I know it's part of my job and I accept it. Also, another clear expectation about business ownership. 